So hey guys, this year part of the trip uh, to Super Computing is sponsored by Supermicro. I'm at their booth because they're showing me things like this. This is the Grace Hopper chip from NVIDIA. So you've got your 72 ARM core Grace here underneath the heatsink and then Hopper H100 GPU at the top with a 900 gigabyte per second uh, connectivity between them. Now, this massive black thing around it is obviously the shim for the heatsink because uh, you can get this water cooled or liquid cooled. One thing I find fascinating is actually the, uh, the PCB between them is actually uh, a lot thinner than I'd imagine. I was thinking perhaps more like 64 layers. This is definitely more sort of the 24, 32 layer PCB. And then you have the sort of mezzanine connectors at the back. Uh, so if there is a future Grace Hopper design, perhaps that'll be compatible. Really looking forward to that. But they've got a couple of systems here based on the Grace Hopper design and the Grace Super Chip that we're gonna check out over there. So in front of me here is a Grace Hopper system. Well, you may realize this is 1U. We're talking, you know, just over a little over an inch. They've managed to put one of these massive, you know, six, seven, 800 watt chips into a single 1U. It is air cooled. Technically, Supermicro calls this system, and in classical Supermicro fashion, the ARS 101 GL NHR 1U NVIDIA GH200 Grace Hopper Super Chip System. So if we look on side, we've literally got a massive heat sink, but then again, most of this is also heat sink. They've got a small space here for uh, storage, but inside there's so much space for activities. You obviously got your massively high powered fans here because you have gotta cool this thing. Um, and then you've got some additional connectivity at the back. Um, so this, the H100, uh, supports you know, the 96 gigabytes of HBM3 and the 144 gigabytes coming soon and lots of integrated LPDDR5 with that connectivity link. There's three PCIe 5 by 16 slots here. That's gonna be for your additional, you know, like I said, the connectivity. Uh, here they're advertising Bluefield 3 and Connect Tech 7, so we're going for a full NVIDIA solution here. Um, and then, yeah, a couple of M.2 drives and then these eight, uh, eight um, SSD bays at the front. The whole idea of this is if you need density in a one-use system with Grace Hopper, you can fill it out. Uh, I, given the design of it and given how much I know Supermicro, for some reason I have it in my head that they can make this into a two blaze system so you can have Grace Hopper and Grace Hopper in a one U. Now that'd be an amazing dense solution. Um, I'm glad I wouldn't be designing it. Um, but yeah, good luck to Supermicro here. The other system I want to look at is called the Grace Superchip. Let's head on over. So this is the 2U Grace Superchip. By Superchip, I mean it's literally Grace and Grace. Uh, we'll show some B-roll one of one because they don't have one here right now. Um, but this is the ARS 221GL uh, NR, again in classic uh, Supermicro fashion, uh, uh, a long name. But what we have here is Grace and Grace, so a total of 144 ARM cores in this 2U design. This one excites me a little bit more because there's even more room for activities in here. I mean, this motherboard could basically be described as a micro ATX motherboard. I mean, the PCIe connections are a little bit different. They're using Oculink and, and some other functionality. Um, and you, again, you still have you know, the additional storage um, and connectivity here. Uh, on the back, you've got space for four double width GPUs. So if you needed to stick in you know, additional NVIDIA acceleration into this system, the whole thing will support it. Um, NVIDIA has done uh, great work in terms of enabling CUDA on ARM over the last two years. So that's essentially what this goal is to, uh, meant to be for deployment here. We are seeing some systems looking into that sort of Grace Grace super chip. Um, to be honest, having that 72 core ARM CPU doubled with that chip to chip connectivity, that bandwidth, means that they should be able to push these systems hard. And it's, this is ARM Neo versus V2 cores as well. So this is the high performance ARM cores straight out of ARM. They're using a custom NVIDIA interconnect, so it's not the, uh, the ARM interconnect, because they believe it gives them you know, a better performance uh, ratio. And what Supermicro have done here is put it into a system. So I've migrated from Supermicro here to the ARM booth because they've got one of the Supermicro systems here. This is the Grace Grace system. It's been running. Uh, we're on day two of the show floor being open. Uh, this has been running ever since. They've not got it up and running now, but earlier we saw them running Stream, which is a memory uh, benchmark test, getting around 700 to 800 gigabytes per second. They said it's unoptimized, uh, so it's still in the process of being optimized. Um, but yeah, this is the system up and running. It's uh, with this sh shows of this size, um, you need a decent power infrastructure to make sure all the vendors have something up and running. 
so this has been up and running. It actually feels a little bit warm, uh, but you'd expect that because it's called the Gray Superchip. Uh, like I say, 144 ARM cores, and you can see up here, this is just one of the Graces, 72 cores, 3.1 gigahertz at 235 watts. So the dual one is uh, perhaps gonna be a couple of hundred megahertz less uh, for almost double the power. L3 shared cache, bisectional bandwidth, uh, yeah, 90% stream efficiency. So in the world of HPC, having that memory bandwidth means a lot. That's where a lot of the roof line models hit their limitations in terms of memory bandwidth. And so Micro has a system with the Grace Superchip, that'll do that. I'm actually surprised given how much space I can literally fit my hand, you know, multiple hands in here. And normally with these systems, you shouldn't be able to do that because they're just stuff everywhere. Um, but yeah, no, standard rack form factor, of course. Uh, and just going for compute density. This is if you want pure CPU with some uh, GPU acceleration. Top, funny thing is, in the top 500 this year, we're seeing a number of systems being introduced that are just purely CPU only. It'll only be a matter of time before we see, um, aside from Fugaku, which is uh, number four, I think, this year, that's purely ARM-based, before we get an NVIDIA CPU-only system in the top 500 supercomputers. But that's uh, Grace Grace, Grace Hopper. Um, so this is you know, NVIDIA acceleration up the wazoo. This is all the new stuff, all the fun stuff, all the nice expensive stuff. Um, good luck if you can get one. But yeah, really exciting. My minimum specification here is there, again, there's so much space in here. I literally put my whole forearm in here and they, uh, I bet they'll, they'll love that in the, in the video. Um, Let's get this into you know, multiple nodes within the same, you can probably get uh, two blades in a two U, maybe even a one U if you orient it properly. That's gonna be interesting.